So, I figured I would share with everybody how I outfitted my 60-year-old aluminum canoe for some trolling in the San Francisco Bay during the times of COVID when uh, recreational fishing vessels are shut down. This has been kind of a lifesaver for me. Um, got a lot of ideas from other people on the interweb um, for instance using these quick clamp guys for things like paddle holders is good I went with a pretty high-end battery um, gives me six to ten hours of trolling usually love these little CGI seats because well these suck for your lower back if without them um, I experimented with some of the more flimsy boat rail holders and they were just cheap as shit so I used a couple of 2 by 4s with the mounting gear and these guys they stay absolutely firm nothing moves around on on either pole at all um, stabilizers for me were kind of a must it's a bit terrifying out on the bay when things really get rough all of a sudden um, I made mine out of basically brackets for scaffolding um, they're aluminum so they won't rust along with galvanized bolts um, and then the PVC pipe ABS pipe combination here um, to put 10 pounds of float per well 20 pounds of float on either side this way it stays really stable out there even when things get a little rough um, got my measuring device there just to stay happy with California Fish and Game, although I know for a fact that from rail to rail is exactly 22 inches, so my halibut sizing while they're flopping around on the deck is pretty fast and easy to do. Um, got the little cheapy Garmin fish finder here, but for my purposes it works just fine. I run a second battery for that. Not so much that the fish finder will take power off the other one, but it's nice to have this little guy in case anything was to go wrong with the other. I've tested it and can get at least 20 or 30 minutes of power out of this little guy, hooking it straight to the trolling motor in case I need it. Um, I love pool noodles to actually hold my rigs. Those When you put them in envelopes, um, you know, they, they come out every single time wound up on my part. This way I can just unwind them from the pool noodle, wind them back on, works really well for me bait and all my other backup rig stuff lives down here gives me plenty of room for my feet um, my motor mount I kind of overbuilt it looking at some of the other ones online um, I actually put four L brackets on mine I saw some people not using any L brackets um, I just do not want to hear a crunch and look back and see my trolling motor sinking down into the ocean um, as far as the motor itself, um, I went with the Newport Vessels 55 pound thrust. Um, it, it's, it's worked really well. Um, yeah, without a current, uh, basically can get up to about six miles an hour, or five knots, um, with a current, um, pretty good current. We've kept it even in the worst case scenario going at, uh, you know, two and a half miles an hour um but uh it's worked out well anyway hope anybody can uh use some of the ideas i had to make their own and happy fishing